So we're telling the story of elephant endotheliotropic herpes virus, or EEHV. It's the most deadly virus in both Asian and African elephants, affecting animals both in human care and the wild all over the world. It's a disease that's devastating, and it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when this virus would strike. Okay, we're rolling? Yep. Hi, I'm Rick Baranji. I'm the founder of Long Neck Manor here in Fredericksburg, Texas. But before that, I was the zoo director at the Houston Zoo for 15 years, from 2000 to 2015. When I took the job at the Houston Zoo in the year 2000, it was already known that there was a significant, huge problem with Asian elephants, uh, young elephants surviving. Uh, in zoos and in, in the wild uh, with this uh, herpes virus, EEHV. I was the curator of large mammals at the Houston Zoo for the last 17 years. Um, you know, I had a big part in, uh, you know, being part of the team that that developed that elephant program. And when I moved there, uh, way back when, we had three elephants. I left, we had 13. Um, so a big part of uh, helping to develop the program there and uh, get all those babies on the ground and try to keep them alive. Yeah, so part of the reason coming to Houston was because they had uh, um, an elephant pregnant. Uh, this specific female was not successful raising her own calf in the past. Um, they had some history of elephants dying from EHV once they left Houston. In 2006, Mac was born and he was the pride and joy of the whole community, the largest Asian elephant ever born in a zoo that we knew on record. And he did great. Mac was the elephant that I moved there for. Um, we knew EHV was an issue. We thought we were prepared. You know, he was on the road to, to being a great, you know, elephant, growing up to be a, um, uh, this big breeding elephant. But regardless of everything and how prepared we thought we were, uh, two years after Mac was born, uh, he passed away uh, from EEHV. Mac died suddenly within 36 hours. He was dead. And it just shocked everybody. At first, he didn't really exhibit the, the classic signs for EHV. He had a stiff leg like really stiff. And we thought it was weird, but he's a two-year-old elephant. They play rough, you know? Um, so we, that's what we thought it was. And, and then the next day it was the other leg. Um, and then the next day there were, both legs were fine and his head was swollen. And we knew at that point, that was a, that's a very, a very classic sign back then for EHV. His head was swollen. We saw it at seven o'clock when we came in the morning and by four or five o'clock in the afternoon, he was dead.
but it's still devastating to even think about, you know, 17 years later that, that we lost that little elephant. That's, I think, probably the hardest part about this disease, that it's the very young animals that are most affected. Um, it causes a, a deadly hemorrhagic disease, so sometimes we call it EEHV HD or EEHV hemorrhagic disease, which just means that the terminal part of the disease is that the animal has massive internal bleeding and death. And the outpouring of support after Mac died from the community was, was unbelievable. I mean, he touched so many, the hearts of so many people when he was alive, but when he, when he died, like the outpouring of cards and letters from across, across the country, but you know, and in Houston was just, it's like nothing I've ever seen. But we also knew that if we didn't do something fast, we couldn't keep Asian elephants at the zoo because they would keep dying if there was not uh, a focus on research. Uh, on this terrible disease, this herpes virus. So Baylor University called us that first week. They called our head vet, Joe Flanagan. Joe Flanagan came to me and said, Baylor doesn't know if they can help, but they're, the, they're an incredible medical institution right across the street, the uh, Texas Medical Center, and they, they just feel bad for us. So I called them back and they put me in touch with their uh, virology department, a guy named Dr. Paul Ling. And uh, I, get, <laughs> I get choked up because uh, uh, I, it was such a low moment in our career. And then this guy, Paul Ling, comes in and says, well, you know, I work on herpes viruses in people. I don't know anything about elephants, but I'll give it a try. And that changed everything.